2020 sucks balls, as my co-worker says. I'm grateful that my place of employment, which will soon not be my place of employment, has paid us closure pay for this entire time since since uh, March 20th. So uh, I'm, I, it could be worse, but uh, man, I, you know, I did, uh, I kept myself busy the first six months thinking, okay, we're gonna go back, things will be a little bit more normal. No, <clears throat> where's that sound effect? <clears throat> no. They kept closing the term, so we don't have in-class classes with students. And I'll tell you, man, I've been at Portland Community College since 1995, first as a student, and it changed my life. The people there welcomed me, they made me feel I was important and that my success was very important. It totally changed my life. Portland Community College made me the guy that you can see on television. And uh, I was not hireable before that, really, and uh, they made me they they made me. It was great. I owe all, everything to PCC. I worked in, I was in video production, uh, the intern program at PCC. I worked at Coin the week after I started. I finished school and then worked in the the movies for. Man, I I worked in the movies so long that I gained fifty pounds with craft service food and made scads of money. I got a call on nine eleven to work there again, and I kept asking Debbie. Um, so what? what's the job? I go, there's planes crashing into these buildings in New York. Don't you have the TV? No, we don't have a TV here. And the news wasn't like it is today on the Internet. So uh, you had to have a TV to see this. So I went up and talked to Michael Cuban, and uh, <laughs> he said, okay, what shift do you want? And I looked at the whole sheet and nobody had clicked it, nobody checked anything. I want Savannah at eight o'clock in the morning because I like to get up early. And so I got, uh, he said, well, hmm, if you want that shift, I can hire you. Thinking I got the win and nobody else wanted that shift because everybody likes to get up later, which I have like, I've discovered that uh, is a plus since we've been closed because man, I hardly sleep at night because I, can't wait to get back to work. So I've been there since 9-11, and uh, I worked my way up. I climbed each rung of the ladder. I never called in sick. I did everything they said, and I was always there. I was the guy you could always count on when somebody else couldn't make it. And now it's all over. Get to live the rest of my life like a schnook. I got a layoff notice because what I do is I deliver. I, I used to drive a shuttle. There's no students. You can't drive any students if the classes are closed. It's all online. This 2020 just sucks. It sucks balls, as Ty Graham says. And uh, yeah, I hate it. But uh, maybe it'll open up a new thing. I've been there almost 20 years. So I get this notice that I am going to have reduced hours, which means, you know, da 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 da. gone because there's no reason to keep you on and pay for health insurance and all these amazing benefits I've been receiving for the whole time. I've been a classified employee there. And then they stopped the closure pay, which they paid us to not work for six, five months. And then uh, they decided our awesome union president, Jeff Greider, worked it so that we would get more closure pay. But the deal is that everybody that was on the layoff thing, which is 150 of us, this is historical. PCC does not lay off people because they can't afford you. You get fired because you steal something or you do something massively wrong for a while. So this is historic because uh, it's, it was the best place to go to school, the best place I've ever worked, the place I've stayed the longest in my entire life. I mean, half my life practically. So... There's 100, 150 of us who can't do our jobs at home behind a computer. It was really nice to get out, drive to every campus, deliver 400 or 500 boxes of copy paper in like, you know, 12 weeks to all the different campus locations and visit with all the people that worked in there. But man, I went up there the other day and this is the first week of the fall term. And the fall term is always the biggest term of the entire 
season, year. There's nobody there because there's no classes. And it's just so sad. I used to suck up so much energy. I am an energy vampire. I thrive on people's brains going like this, and I just soak it up like I'm a, an energy soak. Here's some video of what it's like right now at Portland Community College. Fall term, first week, nobody there. It's a ghost town. Even the ghosts didn't show up. Where are those ghosts? <laughs> I don't know about those ghosts. But uh, hopefully we've found that footage. Uh, you, got, you got that ready to roll in the control room? Okay, so this is what it was like normally. And this is, I think, in a spring term, and I'm there showing Paul Dreher around, and uh, you can see how people park because there were too many cars for the parking lot. That's why my job was created, the overflow shuttle. I would make 50 trips in my shift to this parking lot that was like, you know, two minutes away, and it was awesome. I got to talk to so many people, and it was in a van. The only bad thing was when people were sick, they would cough and not hold their mouth. Today, that wouldn't work, and I could feel it hitting my bald head. And so I brought a, a garbage bag with me, and I would say, and a piece, a roll of duct tape, I said, put this on your head, wrap this around your neck, we'll be there in three minutes. If you pass out, I'll find somebody to, to revive you. <laughs> and it always snowed up there first. I mean, PCC did not close when it snowed for a long time. It would be like at my house, it always snows first. So it would be like a foot of snow out there, and I'd get no notice on the TV or whatever and say no late opening and no closure. So I would ride my motorcycle or drive my 74 Ford van up to the college at Sylvania, only to find the gates closed with a safety, a public safety cop outside Alan Brawl saying, sorry, man, we're, we're late opening. And I thought, late opening? And that always turned into a closure. They've been much better at that since then. One day we had 16 days off because of snow, and I think we're going to have a cold winter this year. That's just going to be the topper. That uh, 20 and 20, 2020 and 2020, I think until 2023, it's just going to suck balls. So I'm really disappointed that um, 
this COVID thing doesn't work. And a lot of it has to do with all of you people who think it's a hoax or think it, it's infringing on your precious little freedom that's going to be taken away because you didn't want to go by the fucking rules. But I'm trying, Ringo. I'm trying real hard. Hey, I'm Matt McCord, and I just want to say thank you so much for watching these shows, either here or on cable TV, on the Open Signal PDX channel network, and uh, I'm just going to keep on making more. Visit usmetal.com and uh, see what we got there. We got videos, we got free CDs you can download, and uh, all the information you'd ever want about Wild Dogs, Dr. Mastermind, Mayhem, and all the other bands that I've been in that have done records or done anything that you might know. Evil Genius and uh, all the heart. I am flourishing in obscurity. So thank you for watching. I'm Matt McCourt, and please visit usmetal.com.